from day one, we were establishing a coffee culture. It is over the top. <laughs> the coffee situation is serious. I describe um, the system of Hawkeye as finely tuned machine. Coffee goes in, satellites come out. We've got a full suite of different coffee capabilities here. Uh, we even have a coffee Slack channel. We've got pour over, we've got espresso. Nick is one of our diet data scientists. He does his AeroPress magic. He's the only person who does that because I think he's the only person who's figured it out. I have yet to meet two people that have the same method. There's several different scales. Uh, debates over how to grind the coffee, what's fine, what's too fine, what shouldn't go into which grinder. You know, if I'm making coffee and somebody else is watching me do it, you know, it's not unusual that they'll comment like, oh, you're doing it that way? You're using that amount of beans? Ah, oh, uh, interesting, you know? <laughs> On April Fool's, somebody took away the gourmet coffee beans and filled it with Costco coffee beans. And it was fun to <laughs> watch who noticed and who didn't. And... <laughs> Three and a half years ago, I didn't worry about what my water to bean weight ratio was, and I do now, <laughs> so. We all like our coffee. I'm a Keurig guy, um, so I, <laughs> I don't do it the, the special coffees that everyone else does, um, but they at least have a Keurig in the, in the other side of the office here that I can get my Folgers. You know, it's the... What is it? The, the the first thing of waking up? The best thing of waking up is Folgers in my cup. 